People randomly leave their strollers behind now too in parks. <laughs> With the sign right there too, huh? Must be an act of rebellion or something. I guess the weather was accurate for today, huh? It's rain. I actually was able to get a flight in really quickly because it's on and off. Hopefully the whole week is not going to be like this, although that's what it says it's going to be. I guess for what I read today, funny enough, talking about that topic yesterday of flying drones near and over people, I guess like what's safe. Apparently there was a little piece where a drone actually fell on a police officer's head. It says, thousands crowd Brooklyn streets for Grand Rabbi's funeral. Two officers hurt. Tens of thousands of people crowded streets in Brooklyn Tuesday for the funeral of Grand Rabbi and two NYPD officers were hurt in the process. You can even see the overhead views, there's like so many people there. And it says officers were trying to control the massive crowd during the procession from 52nd to 61st Street and 12th to 16th Avenue in Borough Park, with some estimating as many as 100,000 mourners in attendance. And so for the injuries, apparently it was caused by a car and a drone. It says, an NYPD officer suffered a leg injury after struck by one of the cars in the funeral procession. The officer was transported to the Thurian Hospital with what appeared to be non-life-threatening injuries, possibly a broken ankle. And then for the drone, it says, the second officer was struck in the head by a drone apparently being used by a person attending the service. So one of those situations where someone just really wanted to get the shot, I guess, as to what happened, it says the individual is charged with reckless endangerment after losing control of the device. He reportedly told police he was trying to land the drone on a roof, but it instead fell to the ground. The officer was not seriously injured. Two things that happened. There was a, a drone that came out of the sky, hit a police officer, I think minor injuries, and there was a, a police officer that was injured by a car in the funeral procession. I'm not sure the extent, not likely, but uh, it looks like he might have a broken ankle. Is it just like an interference, dead battery or something like that? It just makes me wonder too, what are the odds of this drone falling exactly on a police officer out of this entire crowd? This guy had no luck, huh? I mean, he took the risk to fly over such a large crowd of people and I guess fate wasn't on his side. While again, it doesn't seem like the officer had any serious injury or anything like that. Like, I guess if it hit you in the right spot and everything, if it fell, it just made me think in terms of comparing things like drones to vehicles, which happens every single day in terms of accidents. There was such a serious injury here, I guess you could say, with the car where the officer might have a broken ankle, but for the drone, there was no serious injury. But it seemed like for this report, they focused so much on the drone still. It was kind of interesting. I mean, think again of all the things that we live with in life that could cause so much more serious injuries, yet we're more lax about it, but we're so scared about like the smaller stuff. It's a little mind boggling. But I guess it's just one of those because it's a new tech, right? And I guess that kind of shows you in terms of flying over huge crowds like that. I mean, you have to use some caution and discretion, huh? Do people agree with the punishment this person got as well? I would imagine there's multiple things like not being able to fly in that area just in general, minus the crowds, I would assume anyways. Yeah, this is actually an insane amount of rain. Holy cow. I'm not kidding when they said we might actually get more rain like what, this week than the whole last month? <laughs> Holy, what messed up weather. Maybe I can fly a bit here too. What the heck? Sun, rain, sun, rain. Where's my rainbow for all this trouble?
deal with the traffic there. No turning left until 7 p.m. Yet the person still stays there despite all the honking and stuff like that. Is that the same squirrel? How can you guys tell? I don't know. That one just seemed again. It just ran right up to me once it saw me. Does that mean we're gonna start naming the squirrel now if it is the exact same one? See you guys later.